Hello everyone, this is an unboxing and first impressions video of my new Beretta. Let's check it out. This is the first Beretta that I've ever had. I bought this one because it has a manual safety and because it has good capacity. There are some that are only 10 rounds or 15 rounds. These are 18 round magazines in this model. This is called the 92XI or 9211, they're Roman numerals. So this is the lock that it comes with, it's purple comes with two 18 round magazines ones here they're nice quality they say made in Italy on them and then one is in also this one is made in Tennessee this uh, series is made in Tennessee so if you get the performance one of this or the whatever it's called the squalo is going to be made in Tennessee also so the finish will just be a little different but this has good features I think it was kind of expensive for what you get, to be honest. The MSRP was almost a thousand, so the actual cost was like seven fifty. But it does have the siding system that I really like, with the fiber optic front with the blacked out rear. And if you notice how small it is, I like it because if you notice the shape, how it kind of comes up like this, it creates this natural. Your eyes naturally focus on this plane, so I really like this design. And the way that the slide fits to the frame is pretty cool. It's easy to take apart. I didn't even look at the directions or anything. You just push this button here, which you see this moves, and then you pull this down, and the slide will pop off. So it's actually really easy. So you see it just comes shooting off there. So it's really easy to take apart and put back together. Very simple. It's got the guide rod, recoil spring, the barrel. The barrel is pretty unique looking. One thing I was noticing is I had to clean it up. They fired quite a bit of test rounds, because if you look on the inside already, this is a brand new gun. And this is after I've cleaned this. So I'm kind of not happy with the quality control. And if you, you look closely, you see there's kind of some errors here in the metal that aren't here. So, so far, um, as dirty as it was, they put a lot of test rounds through it, it looks like. And it was really dirty and greasy. So the presentation, the magazines were all greasy too. I'm glad that, you know, they wanted to test fire it and break it in. But i kind of not happy with the quality of, you know, what I was presented with. It goes on nice and easy. This is a nice feature here. You see how it's flat shaped like this. So you can easily rack the slide from there. It's a good pinch point too to do press checks because... The problem with the manual safety one is the, uh, well, it's not all the way on there, whoops. I forgot to do the lock thing. So you have to light it in the rear position, then put it back on there. Okay, now we're in business. So I just got this yesterday, so don't make fun. So it, it's nice to make press checks like this because the rear slide serrations are kind of useless because of the way the safety is designed. So you see, anytime I want to pull back on the safety, either way, your fingers are going to hit this plastic safety. So serious design flaw right there. Do not like that at all. Already looked to see if there was a replacement part that was not only smaller, but metal instead of plastic. But if it was metal, it would probably be sharp or sharper. But since it's plastic, it's smooth and it's not going to cut you. But uh, not liking that either. The grip is pretty comfortable though. I have CZs and 1911s. Grip is pretty comfortable, but again, if it's in locked to the rear slide position and you want to use the rear slide serrations, you'd have to grab way back here and then just let go because you don't want to ride here on the safety. But it has these nice serrations in the front, so I'm just going to use those. And also here, this pinch point is awesome for doing press checks, and you can rack the slide from there. has the full uh, accessory rail, as you can see, so you can use a flashlight with it. It is also, you can use an optic with it. So I guess for the price, $750, it's not bad because it is optics cut. It does have the fiber optic front sight with the blacked out rear. It is all metal, hammer fired. It is say it's made in USA, even though we know Beretta is an Italian company. The magazine release is awesome. The magazines come shooting out of there too. So I compare this kind of like my CZ75 SP01. And there's things I really like about this, but a few things I don't. The safety automatically is one of them. I didn't really like the quality control here, um, how they already look like they put a bunch of rounds through it. And if you look at the crown of the barrel here, here there's no space, here there is space. 
So it's probably going to be hard to pick it up on the, the phone here. But, you know, that's a little bit... I was looking at that yesterday. I was like, I want to compare it to a different one. I was like, that doesn't look right, where there's no space here, but then there's a little gap here, and then there's a big... You can see air or light through it, not air. So I don't really like that. So I think that the uh, manufacturing, not 10 out of 10. So I don't really think it was supposed to be designed that way. It's probably not the end of the world, but... Uh, huh. And then the guide rod here is 100% plastic. So rigid piece of plastic. The barrel design is pretty interesting. It's quite unique, but all in all, for the price and the features that you get, I don't think it's bad. I'm gonna take it to the range for the first time. But my first impressions, I'd say seven and a half out of 10. I don't think the quality control is all there. The trigger is kind of squishy too. It is a single action only. There is no double action, so single action only. And you can use the safeties whether it's cocked or not. So it doesn't matter if it's cocked, the safeties will, you can still manipulate them. The cocking hammer here, this is nice shape because it's easy to grab and do like this if you wanted to, even though, you know, most of you probably aren't going to do that. So the trigger has a lot of play in it. I could do this all day and it won't go off. So you get to the wall and you got to press pretty hard. But the reset is super short. So this is basically like a step down from the 92X performance model. This is kind of like has some price saving features like the plastic trigger. The safeties are plastic. I'm sure everything on the other one is all metal. These are metal. The grips here are plastic. The rest of the frame is metal. Decent quality, I would say. I'm going to compare this to my 75 SP01. I'm going to say that that's the closest comparison to what I have. That's why I bought this, because it was something that's all metal. It's heavier, 9mm, and I wanted something new for the range. So I got a Beretta, and I didn't want something with a decocker, so I got this. Feels great in the hands. The, the hand placement is perfect on this. The slide shape, the front serrations. I'd like the serrations to go all the way to the end, personally, because the rear ones are useless with the safety in the way. But all in all... I'd say 7.5 out of 10 first impressions. Can't wait to go shoot it at the range. I think it's going to shoot pretty nice because of the short reset and the trigger pull. You have to pull a little bit extra hard. And with my CZ pistols, there's a lot of play in the trigger already, but those are double single action. So this is going to be a little bit different, but I think somewhat similar. So looking forward to testing it out the range and reporting back the results. Stay tuned for more.